Yo YouTube everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, as you can see on the screen, we come up against someone from the top 250. And this was one of the hardest lobbies I've ever been in. I was actually the lowest level in the lobby. I'm going to be real with you, I didn't, I want to say I struggled this game, but this game was very, very difficult. I wanted to show you guys, you know, how I played and maybe what I could have done better to hopefully help you guys improve. Bit of a different video. Normally I show you games where, you know, I'm doing good, I'm frying the lobby. This game was a bit different, but I want to show you guys everything on my journey towards the top 250 solo queue. So this game was a very important one, but let's get right into the breakdown. Starting off there, going to go to the top. We get our first kill of the game, going to go through here. We try to take out the second, we flank him. Great shots there, and we almost get the third. So starting off, not playing too bad here, not playing too bad, man. I'm trying to get into the pacing. Now, when you're going up into a lobby where you're not the favourite, where you know personally you're the lowest level and let's just say i'm you know the worst in the lobby to say again i don't really know i'm just basing it on ranks i'm the only crimson in the lobby on the team i'm a crim one let's just say i'm the worst in the lobby right what you want to do is first of all be a team player you want to make sure i'm filling in the roles filling in the gaps and making sure that i'm allowing my team to do what they could do best so as you can see here i'm going to sit in the hill while my teammates are pushing through i'm going to make sure i'm just going to get that time and soak the hill my teammate dies on the left so i'm going to push through here use a stun looking at the mini map i should have reacted a bit quicker there i knew they were coming behind me but what I wanted to say is like as I mentioned before to be a team player when you guys are playing like this when you know you're the lowest level try to be the team player try to allow your team to kind of excel and be the better they can be and just fill in the roles man fill in the gaps and another thing that's really important is to start off well I feel like Call of Duty is a really really big mental game so if you start off well you should finish well if you start off well and you get a bit of momentum you're feeling confident the game normally carries on like that where if you start off slow sometimes it takes a bit of time to you know warm up so you can see right here really good start that's four down and again I'm just going to sit in the hill normally you see me pushing out the lanes but you see my teammate was very adamant of sitting in the hill there so i'm gonna push out but normally what i do is i always push out the lanes but this match i was like you know what let me take a back seat here allow my team to push through i'm just gonna be the role filler and play the objective so we spawn on the new hard point here my teammate gets taken out on the left now this is really important this means that somebody is at a close gate so what i'm gonna do is gonna go through and again i feel like i'm playing very different to what i normally do I'm not i'm not sure if it's a good or a bad thing but i'm definitely slowing down the pace the reason is because normally against you know diamond players and even crimson players i feel like i can run a bit more play a bit more aggressive and maybe catch them off guard but against players like this as you see the top 250 absolutely frying me like these guys got really good gunny man these guys are absolutely cracked and they're top 250 for a reason the rest are iridescent you cannot get better than that man these guys are absolutely disgusting so i have to show them respect man i have to give them respect and play with you know play a bit more passive try to let them come to me so i'm, I'm in the advantage as we go through we get a massive two piece on the left hand side while my team is locking down the right i'm just trying to focus on the middle here trying to focus on the left my teammate picks up the middle so once again we go towards the left we make that guy one shot gonna back off there good stun from him again you can see the nades like i feel like it's a different level of players i'm going up against different to what i'm used to right there perfect use of equipment we're going to go through the middle here my teammates on the left 15 seconds left is time for the rotation right here i spot my enemy and i'm going to make sure i use my equipment well as well we're going up against some crap players there so i've got to make sure i use my equipment well brilliant stun to take out luke there as we go through and now what i'm trying to do we're up by about 40 points here, so i'm trying to go around see if i can take out anybody on the p2 area just so we can suffocate the hill just so we can surround the hill no one's there so i'm going to go through again go up the stairs now right here is a perfect example of maybe when i should have gone in the hill but we win a massive one-on-one -on -one. i'm going to go through we jump around the corner we spot him we go we take him out and just like that we get a bit of a lead here 35 points up here now again this is what i was talking about i'm so used to not going on the hill here and kind of cutting those lanes i feel like right now i probably should have went in the the hill and play the objective a bit more but we're gonna go through we take out one we take out the second i mean we're absolutely frying we're turning up man we're turning up against a very good team we're trying to keep up with the boys here and we are doing so going through the opponents managed to break the hill there 25 seconds left and dash with a massive two piece he gets traded i get the third and just like that it's a 1v1 on the hill i can't i can't actually spot him so i'm gonna go around there now the reason why i'm still pushing this old hill although there's only 15 seconds left is because i feel like this new hill sorry this old hill is a good area to start with for the new hill if you have that full control it's a lot better in my opinion this side of the map is a lot better to hold than the other side for the new hill so going through up by 30 points here so far so good not can't really complain too much but let's see what happens here man let's see what happens we're gonna dive through the window again i kind of messed up my dive there i wanted to to hit my knee off the ledge sometimes i messed a dive up so maybe a bit more practice will be good there but we're going through and my teammates doing such a good job of slaying man they're all doing a fantastic job of slaying again i'm not used to that normally i'm used to some of my teammates struggling but these guys man these guys are turning up doing a really good job i'm just gonna hold 
hold maps here. And this is what I was talking about. I should have played a bit more hill, kind of hill orientated. You can see right here, I'm not really going on the hill. I'm trying to cut the lanes. But while my teammates are so good, I should have probably prioritized a hill and given them the respect that they deserve as they are all iridescent. But that's all right, man. We're doing a good job again. Definitely should have gone in the hill there. But that's all right. That's all right. We're going to move over to P1. 20 second FT, what we can do. We're going to go through. We make this guy one shot. Hopefully, my teammate can get the trade. He does. And just like that, we're setting up for P1. So, I mean, so far, so good on the rotation. We're doing pretty well. 10 seconds left. I'm going to go to the bottom there, see if I can take someone out. I don't actually spot him. I go through. I should have backed off there. There's no need for me to play aggressive. I should have just backed off, hold the P1 rotation, as I mentioned, and just allowed my team to roam around the map. But my teammates on the hill here, I'm going to go to the top maps, try to get some good timing. Unfortunately, the timing is off. The opponent does get through. He does take me out. But my teammates, again, doing a fantastic job with the setups, man. Really good jobs. But unfortunately, we lose spawns. So up by about 35 points there. I have to try helping the boys out. We're going to go through pop the dead silence and see what we can do again these guys are really cracked man so it's quite difficult to win some of these gunfights we're gonna go through this is a perfect example i mean what kind of shot was that man luke absolutely frying me right there takes me out 30 seconds i'm starting to struggle a bit here my pacing's a bit all, all over the place and i need some really fix up here so we're gonna go through big 1v1 on the hill there we managed to take him out with a nice jump shot and just like that that, that is three down 20 seconds left i'm again gonna prioritize the rotation try to cut those lanes off although you know these guys are good man i'm still gonna play my game i'm still gonna play with confidence i think that's very important no matter who you're going up against play with confidence don't be afraid to you know play play aggressive play slow whatever he needs for the win this guy wasn't moving i was starting to get a bit of stress now i was starting to get a bit of stress especially because they've got the rotation on board they've got the spawn so i need i need my teammate to help me i need him to play through we're going to go through the bottom here see if we can spot anyone on the left hand side of the map i'm trying to break it through the left here i'm trying to see if i can get the spawns if i can take out one or two in the process it'll be really helpful we're going to stun the back there while my teammates are going through the front i'm going to go through the side and now what i notice is that you know they're watching the back they're watching the back they chucked a nade through so straight away i'm going to go through the side my teammate's coming through the side i'm actually going to let him go through and go through the front here so i should have played a bit more aggressive here i'm kind of just moving around the map not really being impactful as i want to but what i wanted to do is go through get the opening and that's exactly what happens my teammates get three i'm going to go through we take out the fourth and we do get traded but i'm okay with that i'm all right with that because what we did is we stopped the reinforcements my teammate goes through busy with a massive two piece right there we're going to nade over and now we're going to rotate towards p3 now it's basically an even game 15 seconds left i'm gonna have to watch the left here i know they're gonna come through the left we take out one we're trying to fight the second we know he's gonna come that's exactly where he is unfortunately i didn't have a stun grenade if i had a stun grenade that would have been a free kill gonna go through and i'm gonna play my life in maps the guy's challenging me there's a guy on my right there's a guy on my left they're all over the place what can we do we're gonna back off and we do get taken out but it's okay. We're in a good position. We've got the lead. My teammates on the hill with an assault rifle. We're spawning at the front here. And this is another example of trying to just help them out with a stun. We take out one. Unfortunately, my teammates all die on the hill. And I couldn't get there in time there. So this, this looks scary now because the game is basically even 40 seconds left. We're in a spawn trap. Things are not looking good right now. But how are we going to go about? My teammates make a massive play. They push through the right. And you can see we're spawning on the right here. So what I'm going to do is go through. Try to flood the hill. We take out one. I didn't see the second enemy. He takes me out. My teammates on the right. They're going to go through. You can see them getting the trades. Playing fantastic Call of Duty here. Really good playing right here. 20 seconds. If we go through the right. Try to take out the last guy on the hill. That's exactly what happens. And we're going to dive on and get that scrap time. Now this is the perfect area here. What I could do is I could, you know, reposition. Play my life. Regain here. Just have a think of what I want to do. Is how I'm going to approach this next half. Hard point so basically an even game going into the next hard point i'll say my opponents have the advantage because they've got the setup right now so what we're going to do is here is i'm going to make sure i've got both guns i've got the tac 56 and the vaznev i like to always make the most use of the hill right there when i'm okay i mean it didn't matter what gun i had there the guy just killed me from the top maps as we break this next hard point now the next two hard points we want to control the spawn so what i'm going to do is go through the right here hopefully my teammate can help me and now this is something i didn't really realize he was going to be on the right there i didn't even expect that maybe could have chucked a stun grenade but you know that's what i mean man he just snaking it doing what he needs to do takes me out on the right so i'm gonna have to go through the left here while my teammates go through i'm gonna go through help them out here go through the hill and again this is another example where i should probably just sit in the hill and allow my teammates to kind of roam around instead i'm, I'm used to my aggressive ways i'm gonna go through but it's all right there because we're still gonna get a few kills we're gonna go through we're gonna watch the front we're gonna made one take him out watch the left jump around the corner catch him off guard and we get a two piece just like that that is four down so fantastic play from the boys there i'm gonna watch over now you can see this guy's out on the head bridge, right so i'm gonna make sure i'm not challenged him i'm just trying to hold these last 10 seconds with the team and now it's time for the rotation i want to get some high here maybe get some high ground see if i can spot anyone on the way we see one no shots go on to him that's fine the second guy's there we're gonna get some shots we don't actually hear anything but that's all right because i've got the intel i know exactly where they're going to be now looking at this situation the best way to probably approach this is to go top maps see if i can take out one or two players so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to jump through to top map
maps. We've got the dead silence. We're going to go through the bottom here. The problem with this bottom area is that so many people can see you and you can see exactly why you shouldn't go through those bottom stairs. The guy sitting on the fortress stairs, you know, on the by open, if that guy sitting on the stairs has an assault rifle like he does now, he's got such a good line of sight onto me. And again, I don't really know why I went the same way there. That was a really bad play because that guy literally had a line of sight right directly at me. So I shouldn't have gone there again. I should have went round, should have went to the top. But my opponents, man, doing a really good job on this P1, uh, P6 or whatever it is. They're doing a really good job of locking it down. We can't really do much here. And this is where I decided to get an assault rifle out. Now, in my opinion, this is where the game changed. I was like, you know what? I'm not slaying. I'm not slaying at all. I need to become more of a team player. I need to play the objective and hold the spoons for the teammates right now. If you can take anything from this video, I think this is the most important thing I want to try to highlight to you. If you guys are struggling, if you're playing with teammates that you think are better than you, just become the role player, man. For example, here, I put my ego aside. Not that I think I have much of an ego, but I put my ego aside and I said, look, these guys are clearly better slayers than me right now. I'm going to get the assault rifle out and I'm going to play for the spoons and just make my teammates job as easy as possible. So what we're going to do is go through. We're down by 40 seconds here, but I've got the assault rifle back and I'm feeling positive. Here. I'm feeling positive. We're going to watch the top our area. We take out one. We're going to go over my teammate. Now, although he's on the hill, I'm watching over him. I'm basically like his security guard, watching over him, making sure nobody can push him as he's in the van area. And we go through. My teammate's with a massive four piece. We spot one more on the right. We're going to take him out with a nice little drop shot. And just like that, that's four down. As soon as I saw the four down on the kill feed, I decided to push through because we want those P2 spawns. We're going to go through here. There's an enemy here. What I'm going to do is go for those spawns, as I mentioned, play for those spawns. We take out one. Fantastic shots. We're going to go through here, play our life as much as we can here. And and now we're in a really good spot. My teammates are rotating through the front. I've got the spawns through the back. Now, as long as I can play my life here, we'll be in a really good position. So, going to go through. I know they're going to come from the left. Okay, there he is. And it's very important. Play my life. These guys are really good players. I can't be exposing myself too much. I have to make sure I'm hiding in a corner, just playing my life and making sure my teammates can make a play. I'm just trying to literally distract my opponents. I'm baiting myself here with the shots. We go through. That's a massive two-piece. We're trying to get the third. And that's exactly what happens. You can see my teammates go through. They get a three-piece. There's a guy at the back. He takes me out. But that's all right because we have the spawns my team is doing a fantastic job on the hill we're down by 10 points and what happens we lose the spawns when i got taken out the guy pushed through and that's all right though we're going to go through to the front as my teammate pushes the hill i'm going to watch the guy on the left unfortunately the stun and nade come in make us one shot and they take us out and i'm starting to panic here but what do i see i see four down on the kill feed the team goes absolutely mental here. 20 seconds left i'm gonna chuck a stun and i'm gonna start to rotate now this rotation is really important you gotta be really careful where you see right here the guy saw me i probably could have dove across maybe a second earlier and not chuck the sun grenade maybe just prioritize the rotation but that's all right 10 seconds left what i'm gonna do is go to the back here and again, although I'm playing a team player, it doesn't mean I have to sit in the hill. I'm just going to watch the lanes for my teammates. We're going to go through to the left. Fantastic shot on the first guy. And now what I'm going to do is play at the back here and hold the spawns. If I have an AR player where I'm sitting now, this is really important because I can watch the left. I can watch the middle. I can watch maps. And I can basically watch over my team on the hill here. So while my teammates on the hill, obviously a precision's come in. They get taken out. I'm not going to go on the hill. I'm actually going to hold the left, make sure nobody can push through and we can hold the spawn. So big three piece from the boys. I'm going to watch over him, try to just help him out. We watch the left hand side make sure nobody can push me that's exactly what happens somebody pushes me now we take him out with these that's one down we're going to reposition two seconds left that should be the game but what happens my teammates get taken out again no panic no panic here we're going to keep calm calm and collected they can win off this hill but we're not going to worry we're not going to worry we're going to play our life the precision comes in this is really important i'm going to play my life we get some shots off allow my teammate to push through i mean we only need one second there so we're going to go through there you go you get some massive three piece i get shot from behind we're going to turn around we get taken out but my teammates they know where he is in a 3v1 and they get there hill what a game hope you guys did enjoy the video again we didn't really fry man but i wanted to become a bit more of a team player i wanted to allow my teammates to have the freedom around the map and it really worked out man when i switched to the assault rifle i felt like it allowed us to get the comeback my teammates were absolutely disgusting shout out to them if they are watching the video they are absolutely gross man honestly frying the lobby but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to drop a like and i catch you guys on the next one peace